Tears of thank you. And during tragedies such as these, there's one thing that we do know, and that's the borderland residents are ready to step up and help their neighbors who have lost everything in the fires. Right. They're donating items like diapers and feminine products that are already headed to Redoso, which is about a two hour and a two and a half hour drive from here. KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botaro, she's live in East El Paso where a truck has already left with the donated goods. And Oriana, what can you tell us about this particular donation center? Andy, Monica, for many of us right here in El Paso, Ruidoso is seen as a weekend escape, right? Well, right now, this weekend escape, as we call it, is in a very critical situation. And out of approximately those 8,000 people that have had to evacuate, many of them don't even know if they'll be able to return to their home. Well, right here in the borderland, I spoke to Johnny Cage, who is being referred to as the glue that is holding this massive community effort together. Take a listen. We started this yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon, my wife and I, you know, um, we've, we've been seeing the devastation of what's been going on uh, in uh, Ridoso and Mescalero. So, you know, I uh, was scheduled to have a performance there this Saturday and uh, obviously uh, everything has been uh, canceled or rescheduled. So it just uh, inspired us to, you know, jump into action, roll up our sleeves and help out the, uh, the communities of Ridoso and Mescalero. Some say it takes a village, but in reality, it only takes a handful of people to come together. We have uh, provided a 53-foot uh, trailer, and uh, we're going to travel to Ridoso. We're going to be escorted by uh, Sheriff's Department to uh, drop off a lot of the donations that the community of El Paso has brought uh, to, to, to uh, Mr. Johnny Cage and, and, and the station here. All hands on deck, including the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, who voluntarily joined in and even escorted the fully loaded 50-foot semi-truck to Ridoso. This is what it means to be El Paso strong. It's everybody coming together, feeling a sense of, of pride in something that we all share collectively. And this is really how we're able to show that we're El Paso proud, is, is collaborating with all of our community partners, um, making things happen, moving mountains, literally, mountains of, of donations and getting them to uh, the people and our neighbors and letting them know that we're here uh, to support them. Now, right now, that fully loaded semi-truck is on its way to Ruidoso, and Johnny Cage was telling me that they're going to continue sending supplies. As we've been reporting, this fire is still 0% contained, so any uh, supplies that they can get is beneficial to the community. And if you're interested in donating, we have a full list of locations up on our website at ktsm.com. For now, reporting in East El Paso, Oriana Botaro, KTSM 9 News. Oriana, thank you so much. And if you would like to help those affected by the fire, there are several agencies and organizations assisting residents. Donations can be made by scanning the QR code that you see right there on your screen. Water, clothing, non-perishable items, even pet food and cash donations are being accepted. And we have more coverage of the Rio Doso fires up on our website. We're gonna continue to have all the latest updates right there at KTSM.com.